Gustav Herzog is an SPD member of the German parliament. He has been touring his constituency of Kaiserslautern to talk to voters. Today he is in Kusel, a small town in southwestern Rhineland Pfalz. Local issues are certainly discussed, and lately the big issues facing the country are also getting an airing, such as aid to the Eurozone countries in crisis, aid that is costing Germany billions. Solidarity with Southern Europe is not widespread here, particularly as Kaiserslautern itself is deep in debt. This area has serious problems and will need support for years to come. That's on people's minds. They often ask, are we still going to get the help we need? Herzog wants to convince voters that it does make sense to bail out European neighbors in trouble even if it's not clear at the moment that the billions thrown at them will do the trick. As a politician, I would love to be able to tell you I know how things will turn out. But no one can tell you that. Basically, we are flying blind and adapting as we go. The ESM, the European Stability Mechanism. In the Bundestag on June the 29th, Herzog voted in favor of the permanent bailout fund and the EU fiscal compact. Both received the necessary two-thirds majority in the German parliament with the support of the SPD and the Greens. The huge sums of money involved make even experienced politicians nervous. Germany's contribution to the ESM would be 190 billion euros, of which 20 billion would be cash and the rest in the form of guarantees. The fund, totaling 700 billion euros, would help Eurozone members in crisis, such as Greece and Spain. At first, Herzog was not completely convinced. But after crunching the numbers, he now sees no viable alternative. I looked into it very closely and have come to the conclusion that although this is not the easiest or best path, it is the only path available at present. The left party, by contrast, argues the fund would not help people in need, but go to paying interest to creditors. We should rescue the banks, but they caused the crisis. This bailout comes at the expense of ordinary citizens, the taxpayers, the German welfare state and democracy. The left party has appealed to Germany's constitutional court to throw out the ESM and fiscal compact. In an astonishing left-right alliance, citizens' action groups have been joined in their opposition by conservative politician Peter Gauweiler. The treaty would turn Spanish, Greek and Italian debts into German debt. Herzog appreciates that but says it is still necessary and politicians here need to explain to the people exactly why so much money needs to flow south. Average citizens are skeptical. I really doubt whether many understand how it all hangs together. I doubt that many experts do. Of course one should help. That's what sets us apart, the willingness to help others. The question is, how far should one go? Billions have already been provided, with Germany in the lead. There has to be a limit. 37,000 people back the call for the court to block the ESM and fiscal compact. The argument is these measures would restrict the budgetary autonomy of the EU state's parliaments and compromise democracy. The court is set to rule on the matter next week. If the Constitutional Court does not endorse the ratification by Parliament, the consequences will be unimaginable. If there is no ESM, it is anybody's guess what will happen on the financial markets. Soon, all eyes in Kaiserslautern will turn toward the court in Karlsruhe. Whatever the court decides, Gustav Herzog is convinced that in the long term, Germany can only thrive if the rest of Europe is thriving too.